everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting. It is an ASOS and Primark haul. I cannot remember the last time I done a haul and I am so excited. I've accumulated this stuff over probably about a month and a half, two months. There's not an awful lot but I thought I would show you things that I've got anyway just because I do really really like some of the pieces and well not some of the pieces, all the pieces but I've also got a lot of wear out of a lot of them already. And then some of them I just can't wait to wear now. But I will start off probably with the two things from Primark. There is only two. I will be trying everything on and I will try and link everything below. But like I said, this has been over about a month and a half or two months. So everything might not be in stock. It might be, but I will try my best to link everything. Obviously, I'll not be able to link the Primark pieces because it's just not a thing. So, the first thing from Primark, we're starting with a fantastic item, is this leather blazer. I got mine in a size 12, they only had 12s and 6s I think, and I did not want a size 6. I mean, I am pregnant, I'm going to be growing at an enormous rate, and I probably wouldn't have got a 6 anyway, because I wanted it to be nice and oversized, so this was... £25, like I said, I got it in a 12 and I just really like this. Haven't tried it on yet, there's actually two, well I think there's two pockets, yeah there's two pockets and it's got a button in the front. Can't really say much more about that, I think these are like the piece to have at the minute, a leather blazer. I know there's a really nice one that you can get in Duns, I haven't really seen them online anywhere. I say anywhere, the only place I shop online is ASOS and I haven't actually seen a leather blazer on ASOS which is fairly strange. I'm sure they probably have them on Zara and stuff but they're probably £70, £80 and no thank you. So the other piece that I got from Primark is just a plain like cream jumper and I got mine a size small which is a 10 to 12. I don't like the new Primark size in the 6 to 8. I'm a solid 8. I would always get 8 to 10 on things. A 6 to 8 is just too small on me. A 10 to 12 totally depends on the fit. So things like this, like an, a jumper, you know, a 10 to 12 is going to be perfect because you're probably going to wear it a bit oversized anyway. But this was a tenner and I just think you can't beat it. I got a cream jumper from Primark last like October I think and it discolored so quickly but I absolutely loved the jumper and I wore it to death before it actually got quite discolored so I'm gonna try my very best not to get loads of makeup on this I'll probably just not wash it a lot I know that probably sounds really disgusting but that's what happened I went into the wash and just came out and I was like disgusting so I could just take my time and like wash it with other white colors but I don't really wear a lot of light colors I'm more of like a darker I say that no I do I wear a lot of black so um yeah I'm gonna try and not wash this too much so that I can keep it good and it is super super soft the most boring piece is a pair of maternity jeans so these are the New Look Maternity Knee Rip Jegging in black. They have got my hair and the dog hair all over them, but they are the Emily, Emily Jegging. And they're just like a normal pair of jeans. So just black jeans, they have a rip in one of both of the knees. And then they have this that goes over your bump. So again, I haven't actually tried these on, but I just thought I would pick up a pair of maternity jeans because they're gonna come in handy. My bump is growing a lot. So I thought I'd better pick them up by. <laughs> Before I forget, this jumper is also from SOS. I got this, it is the SOS Design Oversized Jumper with stripe stitch detail in yellow. I got mine in a size 8. It is quite oversized so I have it just tucked under a pair of jeans but yeah it's quite baggy. 
you can't see my bump in my <laughs> jeans at all it's so funny and then I wear a dress and I look like uber uber pregnant but yeah this was 28 pound I know about anything on SMS without a discount code though <laughs> I'm such a sheepo but I have worn this a couple of times oh I actually wore it yesterday and today to film this video but I really really like it and it's very very soft and I had a yellow jumper it was like high neck it was probably just to about here and it was longer than this one and it was from my Selfridge and I had it a couple of years ago and I loved it so much and I just wore it to death it needed thrown out so when I saw this I was like I know I'm gonna get loads of wear to that so I best pick it up so another jumper I got from ASOS is this one. It is also ASOS Design. And it was also £28. This is an ASOS Design jumper with structured shoulder in camel. So as you can see, there's this lovely detail. And it is so thick. Like, I have a jacket to show you that I plan to wear with this. And I did wear it. But this is like too thick to wear with the jacket. So this is definitely like... A jumper and a coat situation like an oversized coat but I've already worn this a good few times we actually went shopping to Belfast a couple of weeks ago to get wedding perfume for my sister's wedding so I wore that that day and it kept me lovely and warm all day <laughs> I just posted my first bump picture yesterday on my Instagram which is hitchfordx if you don't follow me and this is the dress I was wearing now it was funny because I walked out to the kitchen and I showed my mummy and she was like, Oof, whoa, where did that come from? And I was like, I know, like I definitely have popped. And she said, she was like, Hannah, I mean, you're wearing a skin tight dress. Obviously it's going to look like you have a massive bump. And I was like, that is why I wore it. I wanted it to be like, is she just putting on weight or is she pregnant? I didn't want that anymore. So I just wanted it to be like, oh, she's pregnant. So this is said dress. It is this really nice khaki color and it has two slits on either side but you will see better in the try on clip this is from you look I got mine a size 8 this isn't maternity or anything none of the stuff I will mention if it's maternity but I didn't get that a size 8 I got it in a size 10 I thought I got that in a size 8 that was probably quite wise of me to get it in a size 10 this was only £20 like that is really really good if they did that in other colours I would definitely get those now this is the jacket that i was talking about that i wore the like beige jumper with this is from daisy street it's kind of like a lumberjack vibe jacket Woo! and i wish i got this in a bigger size it has like already ripped like the label and i've worn it so i can't return it and exchange it for a different size but I do like it, but I think it's definitely more of putting a t-shirt underneath it. Or maybe just a thinner jumper, probably just a thinner jumper. But like I said, this is from Daisy Street. Let me get the price. I got it in a size 8 and it was £27.99. So if you're thinking about getting this, if it is still in stock, I would probably size up just so... Well, it depends. It depends. Yeah. I suppose it depends on what kind of fit you're going for, but... I definitely think things like this look better when they are more oversized. This next piece is a black jumper. It is actually not a jumper dress. It's just on the website as a monkey, monkey, ake, recycled knitted long jumper in black. But I definitely think this is more of a jumper dress. Like, I don't know a pair of trousers that you would tuck this into because it is thick, so it'd be really, really bulky. So what I have done, I've worn this a couple of times and what I'm probably going to do in the try on clip, haven't tried them on yet, duh, but you will see in that I put a belt on it and kind of ruch it up a wee bit and I just think it sits nicer because if you wear it just straight down it, is, it looks like a tent <laughs> but it's got a high neck-ish and just nice sleeves and this is so soft oh my god i'm loving obviously soft things at the minute but i just think that's something that i will get a lot of wear out of in these colder months and i just love it with pattern tights or like really light tights i'm just loving that look 
this is going to look like absolutely nothing when I hold this up but this is a t-shirt dress oh my god it looks like a nighty I also don't know if this will actually fit me or if it'll be too short this is the ASOS design oversized t-shirt dress in oatmeal and it was 13.50 I'm pretty sure it was on sale and I got mine in a size 8 and I just think with the leather blazer and the last piece that I'm going to show you, I know it's like gold jewellery, this will be amazing. It feels quite light, so it's probably not really a winter piece. But you could even like tuck that into jeans and stuff, so it could just be a t-shirt as well. Oh, that would be nice with the Daisy Street shacket thing, wouldn't it? Hmm, might try that on and see what that's like. Then the last piece is something that I am not sure of at all. And it is a pair of boots that are from New Look, obviously of ASOS. And they are these like welly biker boots. No, actually, I love them. Now when I see them out, I love them. Mm, I can't wait to try these on. So these are called New Look Knee. Hi, chunky biker boot in black. They're 40 pound, so they're, I think they're dear. They're not probably for a pair of shoes, but I don't know. If I don't absolutely love them on, then I will be returning them because, I mean, if I don't love them, I'm not gonna keep them, but at the minute, I love what they look like right now. I can mine a size six. Hopefully they're comfy as well, but they just give you like horse riding vibes. You know? And they're so in at the minute, like wellies are basically what everybody's wearing, which is interesting. So that is everything that I have to show you. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you pick anything up from this haul, please do let me know. But yeah, that is the end of the video. So hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.